2015, the twin turbo Mustang. I still have people asking me all the time what's down to it. They want to see it run on the road. You know, they really want to know what the car does. So I've just thought I'm going to make a little video on it in street form. Obviously, you see the 24s are off of it. So I've decided to make a little video, drive it, kind of show you how it drives, show you how it performs. Now, I can't do any really high boost pulls right now because my max sensor is down on my boost controller. So it's just going to be wastegate, which is about 800 wheel. But uh, plenty of power uh, for the tires, which they're on their last compound, they're not hooking anyways. So, uh, and I figured I'd film it at night so you can see the flames coming out uh, of the hood. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and uh, I'll tell you all about it. It looks completely different having the welds back on it. It's got the Mickey Thompson ET Street R's on the back. These are a 305. I normally run a 315 on the back, but because of Mickey Thompson's back order, I can't even get those, or I can't even get 305s at the moment. But uh, they're gonna be back in stock soon. I'll be able to have them back, so uh, I'm pretty excited about that because it's been months since I've actually been able to get tires, and it's actually my last set. I've got some others over here, which you can see how they look. These are my 315s, they're gone. Skinnies are gone there. Got another complete set of race stars here for it. Some are gone as well. So uh, I'm running way behind on tires. But I'll go ahead and pop the hood and uh, let you see what powers it. You can see I've got a little bit of paint damage there from uh, blowing that fire out. I actually originally used to run a full exhaust on it, but uh, I decided to be different running out the hood because I have not seen it done like this before. And uh, so far I love it. Uh, lost quite a bit of weight. About to get rid of the factory exhaust. And uh, it sounds better. A little bit about the car. I actually bought this car back in, uh, it's been four years ago or so. It was completely stock and uh, it made seven, 800 horsepower uh, for a full year. And then I decided to change the turbo setup. It used to have a low mount down there. I switched it up for a new kit, went to a top mount that had 61s on it. Uh, with the 61s, was running uh, around 920s at about 150 and a quarter mile, about a 6 0 at 121 eighth mile. And uh, was having some issues with back pressure. They had a really small exhaust housing on them. I think it was like a, I don't remember the exact size, but it was pretty small. The new ones are a 102 on the exhaust housing, they're a twin 67. Have not got to make any uh, passes with this setup yet. And the engine, I went ahead and built it. It's a Gen 2 Coyote on a factory block. But it has a Manly Turbo Tough I-beams in it. Has a set of CP, 10 and a half one compression pistons, head studs, main studs, factory cams, you know, oil pump gears. Uh, it does have oil pump gears in it. And uh, it's got a fuel system I made for it. It's got a the aeromotive regulator back there. Triple 450 uh, fuel pumps. So it's got my boost controller back there. Got a map sensor right there to control the uh, boost solenoid, fuel pressure. And this one actually uh, was originally a manual car, but I actually converted it to a turbo 400. It's a three speed manual valve body turbo 400. Which you can see the Hurst shifter here. It's got the trans brake and everything. It's a one, two, basically you go up one, two, and three, reverse. Put the trans brake on top and uh there's the boost controller i guess the map sensor got wet you see how it just bounces around from uh goes into boost out of boost into boost out of boost so if i enable the boost solenoid it just keeps on bouncing all over the place and uh tries to kick it on and off on and off so right now we're just sitting on wastegate and uh, right here is my two-step button that is a msd two-step but the two-step alone will not cause fire to come out like that i actually tuned it in a way where it retards the timing at that specific RPM and uh, spools the turbos up. Because before I retarded the timing, I could build a pound of boost on the line, on the two-step. When I uh, went into the tune, made some changes in the tune, retarded the timing, it actually put it up to seven pounds of boost on the line when you're on the transport ready to take off. I actually get this question a lot. A lot of people are asking me what's with the holes in the front bumper. Originally, they have got a full metal crash bar that comes across here and uh you can see just how much of that inner cooler is actually covered up by that crash bar i decided to be a little different uh and i went ahead and made a new crash bar it's a tu tubular one you can see the lower bar right there and on the top it's got a bar on the top 
and it allows an opening between the two tubular bars, the top and the bottom, and allows airflow to get right through there. So that's what that's for, and it's actually too small of an intercooler for my setup. The intake air temp gets way too high. But it's making around 1,200 wheel or so uh, on the higher boost. That's around 22, 23 pounds of boost. But I can keep going up with that boost controller. It's just, you know, the higher you go, the higher your risk of uh, breaking a factory sleeve. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take it for a drive and uh, show you what it does. Got my third pump right there, a manual third pump if I need it. So you have to push the clutch in to start it because it was a manual car. But basically the way that the two-step works, never mind my thumb, I got a, got a grinder on it, so just uh, ignore that. So you got the trans brake here. Basically the trans brake only works in first gear. let go and it jumps forward. And uh, normally, if I could use my second hand, I use my thumb to hold that one at the same time as the trans brake, and uh, obviously it spools the turbos up, push it in, rev it up, 4,000. And you can see just how it spools them up. I figured I'll show you uh, more of a night view. You can see it a little better. But uh, it's on the 85, that's all I burn on it. So if I push the trans brake button, put it in, get it ready, it'll start at 4,000 RPMs. You see just how big those flames really get. And it also works for rolling anti-light. So I can go like this, come up here, Whenever I'm ready, let's say I'm in first gear, push the button in, put the foot to the floor. Then all you do is let go. And it takes off. I used to brake torque it a lot, but uh, this here, a little funner. I'd say they're about the same on, uh, on takeoff as far as rolling, but uh, from a dig, that is definitely needed with these new turbos. So that'll be all for today. I'll see you guys next time.